former Heartland Tri-State Bank CEO Shan Haynes has been charged with embezzling $47.1 million in bank funds to buy cryptocurrency. Court documents show Haynes, a three-decade employee of Heartland and its predecessor, was chief executive from 2008 until last year when the firm collapsed due to what Kansas regulators at the time dubbed an isolated event. What tanked the bank, according to Bloomberg, was Haynes Crypto Investments, which a wealthy Heartland customer close to the matter brought to the attention of regulators after Haynes asked him for a loan. Heartland customer Brian Mitchell told authorities he saw a red flag when Haynes asked him for $12 million to help take his money out of a crypto investment, which had run into a supposed wire transfer issue. Mitchell declined to provide Haynes, who said the funds were not bank funds, with the loan, but learned later from a bank employee that Haynes did wire $12 million out of the bank. Court documents filed in Kansas District Court in Wichita allege that Haynes began buying crypto in December 2022 with his own money. By early 2023, however, some of the purchases were made with funds embezzled from a local church and local investment club, and in May 2023, Haynes started purchasing crypto with bank funds. Prosecutors allege Shan Haynes used his position and authority as CEO of Heartland Tri-State Bank to make and authorize the wire transfers or direct other employees to make the wire transfers on his behalf. Prosecutors allege through July 2023, Haynes embezzled bank funds by causing at least 11 wire transfer financial transactions from Heartland Tri-State Bank to purchase crypto without the authority to do so. It's possible, Bloomberg reported, that Haynes fell victim to pig butchering, where scammers fatten victims up with a pledge of profitable returns but slaughter them before making good on their promises. The FBI warned the public in December of such scams, noting that it anticipates a higher loss in funds with investment scams this year, primarily due to the increase in crypto cryptocurrency confidence scams, which are one type of investment scam following particular typologies to scam victims. Heartland's $139 million in assets and $130 million in deposits were acquired in July by Syracuse, Kansas-based Dream First Bank, and the Office of the State Bank Commissioner of Kansas said the state's banking sector was unaffected by this event. At the time of Heartland's collapse, Haynes was chairman of the Kansas Bankers Association, and he previously served at least one term on the American Bankers Association's board of directors. Neither association responded to Banking Dive's request for comment. Haynes did not return a request for comment by Bloomberg. If convicted, he faces up to 30 years in prison, followed by a supervised release of up to five years, as well as the forfeiture of all property derived from the embezzled amount. This story was originally published on Banking Dive. To receive daily news and insights, subscribe to our free daily Banking Dive newsletter. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe this channel, like and comment this video, and share with your friends. I'll see you in the next video.